Hey guys, in the last video I showed you how to modify your Unity WebGL build to run it on your web browser as an instant game. In this video I will show you what to modify in your build so that it can run on a messenger platform. The code we will need to modify is placed inside the build folder. Open up the Unity loader for editing. I am opening it in a notepad because mono develop usually gets stuck with this code. So as you can see an unindented code. Copy the whole code. You can go to javascript beautifier to indent the code. Copy the code and paste it back. This is the indented version of the same code. Here the issue is basically the compatibility check. What Unity does on mobile platforms is that it shows a warning. And you have to click OK to start the game. However, since the Facebook loading screen hides the game, we are unable to press OK. What we are going to do is simply rewrite this whole function and start the game without showing the warning. The function to start the game is small t. So simply remove the old code and call the new function. Save the script. Go to your build. Archive it. Upload it to Facebook. Put the new build up for testing. And now both in your messenger and in your web browser, the build should successfully run. However, we still need to modify the scale of the screen in the messenger build. So opening it up in my messenger. And there we go, successfully loading. Loading completed and the game has started. You should be able to notice that the canvas is not properly scaled. Up next, we are going to fix that. So back to our WebGL build. Open up index.html. First off, we are going to hide the footer. That is the strip we saw at the bottom of the screen with the full screen button. Simply comment out this code. Next, modify the width and the height so that it fits to 100% of the screen. We will need to set this for both the game container and the webgl container. Copy the style for the webgl container. And now the scale should be correct on the messenger platform. Next we are going to hide the unity logo. The logo is placed inside the template data. We are going to replace both of these progress logos. I am simply going to download two PNGs for these. Delete the old logos and place the new logos with the same name.
here you can also replace the progress bars if you want to so again archiving the build upload it to Facebook send it to testing and back to the messenger and there we go you can hide the unity splash screen if you want to the high score text on the top is not sliced because of the canvas size to fix this I will need to change the anchor to top so start the game and there we go everything running perfectly in the messenger platform similarly if we test our game in the browser everything is working perfectly fine if you guys found this video helpful click on the subscribe button below for more useful unity videos